Hi, my name is Katie Ziskind. I'm the practice owner of Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, where we specialize in therapy with teenagers and young adults with anxiety. And we use a holistic twist. So we offer yoga therapy, meditation, a vinyasa flow, um, even outdoor walk and talk sessions by the beach to promote self-confidence skills, rather than turning into the inner critic. You can read more about holistic counseling and find free resources online at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. You can also call for a phone consultation, 860-451-9364. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk with you about yoga because um, you can do all the yoga in the world in yoga classes, but yoga is really about taking the practice off the yoga mat into your daily life. Um, so you might go to a yoga class and be so completely zen, peaceful, and calm in this quiet room where there's no frustration and no one pushing your buttons. And then when you get out of the class, you feel like you blow your fuse. You feel like you, excuse me, didn't really attain any skills. You just, you know, feel angry and you're, someone cuts you off and you're just feeling so frustrated and you're like, where did my yoga practice go? And we call this practice moving from the mountain to the marketplace. So on the top of the mountain, it's calm, it's peaceful, it's just beautiful. There's a sunset, there's beautiful grass around you, butterflies, and it's just the way you want it to be. But then when you go to the market, this is where there are things outside of your control. So you, there are chickens flying at you, there are people, there, it's cold, it's hot, there are smells that you don't like, um, there's sensation. And we call this practice moving from the mountain to the marketplace. Um, and it's a saying that you can use in your real life about thinking about taking your practice off the mat from the mountain to the marketplace. So you're going from the mountain, which is your yoga room with your yoga teacher who just helps you feel so calm and peaceful. And wouldn't it be nice if your partner was like your yoga teacher? No, you know, your mind will start to take you places. And the best thing that you can do is to say from the mountain to the marketplace, because you're choosing to take all the things that you've learned, that you've worked so hard and concentrated on in your yoga practice. Now you're taking it into when it really matters because it doesn't really matter in the class. What really matters is being able to stay calm when you're with your partner or being able to stay in your true self, this authentic self, when you're learning to use your throat chakra more clearly or speak more confidently or communicate better um, with a parent or a mother-in-law um, and you're using your voice to speak more clearly, that's actually the practice of yoga off the mat. It's um, what would be counterintuitive would be saying something you don't mean, being really hurtful with your words, saying negative jabs um, intentionally to hurt someone, gaslighting. Um, that wouldn't be yoga. And so the idea here is to take what you've learned from this easy, where it's so easy to do great things in a yoga room to focus on yourself and then into places where it's not so easy and it's uncomfortable and frustrating. Um, and when you're pushed to your edge, how you react, you get to choose your reaction. Now, this is something we're not taught growing up in our American culture. We're taught that, oh, you can blame it on someone else. Um, you can sue someone else they owe you. Um, and so we don't actually take accountability in our culture. And so one way that you can start uh, taking accountability is not trying to um, force things upon people or um, think that they owe you something. Like someone doesn't owe you an apology. It would be really nice if they gave you one. It would be really humble. But what you can say is to yourself, I'm sorry I went through that. I'm sorry I put you through that. I love you. Thank you. You can thank yourself. Thank you for getting through that. That was a really challenging situation we got through. You can flip it. And that's taking your practice from your yoga mat into life. Um, because that's why you practice. You don't practice to have six packs, abs, or practice to be in a yoga body. You That comes from living a spiritual life. You practice so that you can be calm and loving and nurturing even when you don't want to be. Even when you want to scream at someone, you don't because you choose to value the relationship over being right over winning. Um, and so what you do is you end up being compassionate, empathetic, collaborative, and you are humble because part of being a yoga student, a practitioner of yoga is knowing that we're all the same. 
So you're not better than someone else just because your skin color is different or just because you're a certain gender um, or just because you're taller or shorter or skinnier or larger. You're not better than anyone else. And that's what yoga teaches is that we're all universally made of prana, the vital life force that's in everything living. And so when you breathe into yourself, you start to let go of those veils, those things that are clouding your mind, um, preventing you from seeing everyone's true inner beauty. Um, and so if you start to let your judgments or preconceived notions about people get in the way, your judgment of others and your ability to create meaningful relationships will be clouded. So part of taking your yoga practice off your mat is really being able to see clearly and they call that rishi so rishis are in the ancient vedic texts um, people who could see very clearly could see themselves clearly could have self-awareness but then could also see others and to see someone else clearly is to know that when they've hurt you it's not actually them hurting you it's just them being hurt and so you can't take it personally. And so being able to see clearly is being able to forgive and being able to let go of anger, even to people who've wronged you and hurt you in absolutely the worst possible ways. Being able to transcend that and see the spiritual meaning to life is taking your practice off the mat. So um, if you're looking for yoga therapy, um, specialized PTSD or post-traumatic st stress disorder treatment, um, treatment for trauma, therapy that is beyond just talk counseling, something more than what you would do um, just talking. You can always talk on one of our comfy couches with a warm lavender pillow on your belly for soothing comfort. However, we also offer creative art, yoga therapy, music, and outdoor walking and talking sessions by the beach to promote mental wellness, depression management skills, and anxiety coping skills right in session. Because we teach people how to cope with the feeling because the feeling's not more powerful than you, it's just a feeling. But sometimes if you're alone with a feeling, it can feel much more powerful and scary. And that's why children will throw temper tantrums. Um, that's why teenage girls will develop eating disorders and restrict food, or young adults will end up with panic attacks and crying on the middle of a highway, is because there's a feeling that just needs some support. And so we teach you skills and techniques that you can implement immediately so that you can start taking back your personal power, feeling more confident, and being your best, most authentic self, stepping aside from insecurity and stepping into your personal confidence through holistic counseling. Now we're a team of five therapists um, right in Niantic, Connecticut, and we would love to support you on your confidence journey today. We specialize with children, teens, and young adults in therapy using a holistic twist. So a holistic marriage and family therapy approach. Um, you can call us to get started with a phone consultation, 860-451-9364. You can also read more about what we do and our holistic marriage and family therapy practice specialized for children, teens, and young adults with anxiety um, using art, yoga, music, animals, and outdoor sessions at wisdomwithinct.com. Um, I'm Katie Ziskind. I am the practice owner. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm also a 500-hour registered yoga therapist, um, which means that I know how to um, work with people one-on-one -on -one in a yoga setting, whether it's learning a new pose, learning headstand, handstand, um, or working through some really deep pain in your body, chronic pain you haven't been able to get through with physical therapy, um, working on um, really the emotional piece of your practice and stepping into your best self, being able to have skills to take off your mat. Um, so I would love to work with you and I hope you have a wonderful day.